Today we have a very special guest. Austin has been a subscriber of mine for a few years and uh, we've communicated through Instagram and Facebook and now he's here. He came all the way from Tennessee, which is how, how far would you say? It was about 10 hours. Yep, and he's here to fix my car. So why did you decide to <laughs> get into this project? Well, um, actually he had messaged me and told me about uh, his valve cover gasket has been leaking. So I've been a tech at BMW for about a year. So I decided to come down here and help you out. All these parts came from FCP Euro. Um, Justin got the valve cover gasket replacement kit, comes with the replacement bolts. Um, as preventative maintenance, we're also going to be doing the football gasket, um, the eccentric shaft sensor gasket, and also while we're in there, we'll be replacing the oil filter housing gasket. For BMWs above 100,000 miles, they are very prone to oil leaks around the engine. One common oil leak is around the oil filter housing gasket. To find that, you wanna look in between the intake manifold and around the sides of the gaskets. So in through your intake manifold here, you wanna look beside the knock sensor and back in through here, and you should be able to see some oil leak. Another common place for your BMW to leak oil is around the valve cover gasket above the exhaust headers. To find this, you wanna take a flashlight and look on the side where the exhaust is. To begin your valve cover gasket job, you want to have as much room as possible. So you want to take off this shroud here and then the left side of your V-brace. With the vanity cover out of the way, you have a better view of the leak. These gaskets can weep oil for months without dripping onto the ground or showing signs of excessive oil consumption. That's why it's important to be proactive about checking for leaks on higher mileage cars. Always disconnect the battery before doing any engine work. To remove the eccentric shaft sensor, you never want to twist it to take it off. So I've seen a lot of videos of people twisting them and breaking them. To replace that is usually about $800. So <laughs> what you want to do to remove this is take a pick and just kind of pry straight up and that'll come straight out. What I like to do next is remove the ignition coils. Another sign of your valve cover gasket needing replaced is on your spark plug ignition coils. You'll see some oil around there. Right now I'm removing this left side V-brace just to make more room to remove the valve cover gasket. <sighs> For the next step, we'll be depressurizing the fuel rail to get to the valve cover gasket bolts on the side. The next step, we are going to be removing the injector clips off of the fuel rail to remove the fuel rail. That's pretty handy. Uh huh. That magnet. <laughs> See, this is stuff that I would have never thought about. I can tell you've done this before. Mm hmm. For the next step, we'll be removing the Valvetronic motor. You will need an E8 Torx and a 4mm Allen key. The next step would be taking a 4mm Allen key, inserting it into this hole on the back of the Valvetronic motor, 
and turning counterclockwise and this will spring out. tipped bolts are torqued to yield so it's a good idea to replace them when doing your valve cover gasket because if you use them again they'll probably break off when you go to torque them. One of the hardest parts of this job is actually removing the breather hose from the back of the valve cover. To do this all you need to do is squeeze these clamps and push back, but be very careful because this hose is rather brittle at high mileage. Now on the plastic valve covers, these bolts will actually be fixed to the cover itself. These bolts are torqued to yield on aluminum covers, so you will have to replace them. A lot of people have a lot of problems uh, trying to remove this last bolt in here. What I do is take a 3 8 3 inch extension and put it on the bolt. And then I take a longer extension and just kind of shove it down in there. And that'll give you enough room to break the bolt free. So you usually want to take a little bit of degreaser or brake cleaner and either a soft aluminum scraper or a microfiber like this and just try to wash off all of that little like caked on plastic and um, bits of oil that's dried up here. Make sure the mating surfaces are as clean as possible to prevent future leaks. This style of gasket is metal with a rubber coating on both sides. Over time, the rubber breaks down, causing a leak. Replace the gaskets on the valve cover before reinstalling it in the car. This is a little trick I like to do to get all the oil out of the spark plug wells. Um, the best way I personally know how to do it is take the uh, head of a spray bottle, just stick it down there and like pump it into a bowl or a rag to get the oil out of the wells. It's a lot of oil. Install the inner and outer gaskets, being careful not to bend them. Alright, the difference between the aluminum and the plastic valve covers is the plastic one actually has a little valley cut through here to put the gasket into, where the aluminum one is completely flat. So on the plastic one, you'd have to hold the gasket onto the cover as you're putting it back onto the engine itself. Whereas on this one, if you can look down here, You'll see there's actually little divots here to hold your gasket into place, as well as your spark, uh, spark plug wells here, where you can just slide the gasket, the uh, cover over top of it. So, <laughs> reinstalling the valve cover here. Um, the 
breather hose port right here was actually getting stuck against this little rubber seal. Um, so we actually took that off so it made it easier to slide into the back there. And how long did that take? Um, longer than <laughs> I'd like to admit. <laughs> These aluminum bolts are extremely fragile. It's critical to torque them to spec, which in this case is 10 newton meters or seven foot pounds. If there was ever a DIY that absolutely required a torque wrench, this is it. We're gonna go ahead and replace these ignition coils just because Justin has some extras and these are covered in oils. All right, so we did have an issue with the initial startup. Um, see this ground wire here, you take that off to remove this to get to the Valtronic motor and all that. Well, I kind of forgot to plug that back in, so I was chasing around a no start issue for about 20 minutes. And 20 then I realized. Minutes is like an hour. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, yeah. Always remember to replace that ground wire or else you'll be like me and be bashing your head off the wall trying to figure out what the issue was, so there's that. <laughs> um, another thing to check would be your ignition coils. Make sure they're properly seated all the way and this plug is at the top of the ignition coil. Um, you don't want them kind of sitting like that. You want to make sure they're flush and pressed in until it audibly clicks because uh, that was another issue we had. Um, cylinder number five was actually misfiring. I couldn't figure it out until I went over and just pressed the coil down a little bit further. So that fixed that. It's running really smooth and uh, no leak so far, so. Have you ever driven manual before? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> what was the speed limit? 25. Oops. <laughs> God, you guys have such horrible roads. Oh no. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> that didn't happen. No one saw that. It's going on YouTube. Of course it is. Now that's really smooth though, like considering, you know, how rough the roads are through here. Yeah. It rides very nicely. I have them on the softest setting. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain that. Yeah. My Bilsteins are really, really stiff. Yeah. So. I feel everything. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up for tonight. We're gonna do that uh, oil filter housing gasket tomorrow. This project took a little bit longer than we were originally thinking, but that's okay. So how was it being the YouTube star today? Oh my gosh, <laughs> super awkward. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I actually kind of liked being like behind the camera and letting him do like the stressful part of actually working on the engine, but I feel like I was able to get some cool camera moves that I don't normally get, but. It was fun. It was a little bit stressful at some points, at but some time. So. yeah. But uh, we're gonna get washed up, and then tomorrow we'll come back and finish the uh, the rest of this. What is up, guys? Today we're gonna be doing the oil filter. <laughs> so it's a new day. We got a good night's sleep. This man slept until twelve. <laughs> but today we're gonna be doing the oil filter housing gasket, which uh, well he's gonna do it. I'm gonna film it. In between these two gaskets, these are probably the most common issues and like most common like oil leaks with these cars. So after we replace this, this should be good for quite some time, right? Uh huh. All right. All right, guys. So there's actually two ways to do the oil filter housing gasket. Um, if you take it to BMW, they'll charge you about eight hundred fifty dollars just to change this simple gasket. Um, some people like to remove the intake manifold to access the three bolts, but today we're going to be using a swivel socket and cheat a little bit to get to it. Alright, so to remove this first bolt, first we have to remove this coolant hose that feeds to the bottom of the filter housing. You 
can use a rag so the coolant doesn't spill everywhere. Just do not forget to take it out before starting the car. That's the thing about YouTube, there's always someone in the comments that knows better. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what I use to get in behind the intake manifold to get to that third bolt, I use a quarter inch socket with a quarter inch swivel adapter to a 3 8 adapter on the end of that and then an E10 Torx to get to that bolt. Alright, before you install your new gasket, you want to make sure this mating surface here is clean and free of any oil. While we're replacing the oil filter housing gasket, we're going to go ahead and replace the oil pressure switch. We're going to be using a 24 millimeter deep well socket and just put it around the switch and it should just pop right off. With the kit we got from FCP Euro, they actually came with new steel bolts and it's a good idea to go ahead and replace them as you're doing this job. So loud. Once you've started your car and your intake scoop's still off, you want to check around this hose down here to check for any coolant leaks. We noticed the car had a small coolant leak from the hose when we reinstalled. The issue was we didn't replace the o ring, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished everything up. We took the car for a test drive and checked for leaks and it's all looking good. So, dude, thank you so much for coming oh, you're out You're welcome, man, anytime, so. And uh, he has the E90 as well. So what do you think of those two jobs? You've done um, them before, both of them, right? Fairly easy, ran into a few issues, but other than that, everything went really smoothly and your car should be good for another 100,000 miles. What was the hardest part? Um. All those aluminum bolts, like every yeah, getting the torque spec right for those aluminum bolts. But other than that, everything was pretty easy. So, <laughs> oh, the imperfections tour. You can pay someone four hundred dollars to wrap your fender. Make sure they're accredited, and your wrap doesn't come off the next day. <laughs> and also, watch out for raccoons, because <laughs> it'll take your bumper and and you're paying off with it, so. Other than that, on um, some dope $30 wheels, if you wanna take a look at those. Should I call out the company that didn't send my other side marker? It rhymes with DCS. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it's pretty clapped. You wanna get that too? 
if you go above 135 these things just like to fly off so <laughs> other than that it's pretty clap so what maintenance have you done on it I've done I've had the head resurfaced um, did a head gasket timing chain and tensioners I've done the rod bearings Replaced the valve cover gasket twice. It's almost 190,000 miles on it. Um, oil fit through housing gasket, water pump, thermostat. I've done the AC compressor, um, engine mounts. I've done a flush and refill on a transmission. Uh, I've done Bilstein B4 struts all the way around. And uh, I've got some M3 control arm kits. Uh, it comes with the control arms and the uh, strut tensioners, I think they're called. But uh, other than that, that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> that's a lot though. So, so it runs better than it looks? It runs much better than it looks, yeah. So I've got a little crappy uh, burger tuning DME tune on it. So it makes it a little faster, but not much. I still get gapped by Honda Civics in 330, so. <laughs> So Austin is actually staying at my house this weekend with his girlfriend Kayla and she actually has a BRZ and if you watch the uh, headlight swap video these lights are actually off of her car so kind of a weird like coincidence that uh, me and him both have uh, the same cars basically. Oh, I have like a hole that. in my pocket. <laughs> do you really or do you just keep it? I, I seriously do like... Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. You said that earlier and I thought you meant like, oh, I just Thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're very welcome, man. Car. Yeah, no and, problem. Uh, besides that, I really honestly had a good time with you guys this weekend. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, so. We'll have to do this again when my water pump goes. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I appreciate the hospitality. Be safe going home, dude. Yeah, will do, man. See you guys. One of the hardest parts for me is removing the breather hose off the back of the valve cover gasket. No. You know, I said I wasn't awkward in front of the camera, but here I am. So awkward. <laughs> oh gosh, hold, hold on, give me a second here. Important to check for oil leaks. One common oil leak well, is from the- the, the rock eyebrow right there. <laughs> Damn it, okay. <laughs>